Aaron O'Toole pipes up about churches being burned in Canada. This has been an attack. Um, I've been calling it a cultural attack. I think it is. I really do. I think that this is part and parcel of the ongoing multi-pronged cultural attack in Canada, the burning of Catholic churches. Um, this is on First Nations land and just across Canada. And I think this is number six, five or six. Um, I've even, I've, people have been emailing me, started emailing me um, with firsthand pictures of, of church fires. And that's terrible. Like, I can't believe that, that this has become such a prominent thing. And it, the CBC is stoking like hate for Catholic Church because of the continued finding of um, indigenous grave sites. But again, see the beginning of this. See the beginning of the show for my comments on that. Anyway, Aaron O'Toole says Canada's history is far from perfect. Learning more about aspects of our past can and will be painful, but destruction and violence cannot be what we turn to. The future of our country will be defined by how we build up, build Canada up, not tear it down. Um, the revisionist history of Canada's past, Canada reimagined as a genocidal state. I don't think so. Like, get, get on board with that? No, I don't think so there, buddy boy. You could push back and say, this is bunk, and what is being said here is bunk and out of context. But instead, he says, oh yeah, it's painful to learn that we're terrible. Get bent. Get bent. I don't think so. Painful to learn we're terrible. Painful to kowtow to communist uh, revisionists. Okay, Jason Kenney says, I condemn what appears to be another violent hate crime targeting the Catholic community. The century-old century old Église de Saint-Jean-Baptiste was the heart of Morinville and a key part of the history of the spiritual life of Alberta's Francophone community. Uh, it is a cultural attack, nothing less. And yeah, I think he calls it terrorism. I think there's a video that he called. Yeah, here's the video. Um, but it's interesting. The person says, uh, not a good look when you have preachers in jail. Like Calgary's got uh, at least one preacher in jail. There was an update on Coates yesterday, and Sheila said uh, Sheila Gunn Reed was reporting on it, and she said that it's been held over to July fifteenth, right? So, um, very interesting. Here's Jason Kenny. He says I visited the burned out remains of the Saint Jean Baptiste Church in Morinville to express my sorrow and solidarity with the community, Franco Albertans, and Catholics across the province. We must reject hateful acts of violence whenever and wherever they occur. So this is the same rhetoric they use for other attacks. At least they're using the same rhetoric, right? At least there's that. Um, I, and I didn't expect that. It's been a week, but it's been, it's been a week of churches being torched. Um, so Alex Pearson says, how many more churches have to burn before Justin Trudeau shows some leadership? There's, this is no more acceptable than burning a mosque or a synagogue. Indeed, right? You, you can't uh, burn down religious places of worship. That's not at all acceptable in a, in a modern country, right? Um, cap, number of Catholic churches burned six. Trudeau com, condemnation, condemnations, zero. Right, another one, right? Here is Trudeau's con, condemnation 18 hours ago. Um, speaker in, speaking in Canada this afternoon, Justin Trudeau on the burning of Catholic churches. This is not the way to go. The destruction of places of worship is unacceptable and it must go. So there's a very, um, I don't know, I guess there's pressure when the when the premier is of Alberta's weighing in, um, and Aaron O'Toole's weighing in. There's pressure on Justin Trudeau to make a statement, so he made a statement. And is it enough? Well, I mean, we'll see. If the burning of churches stops, then yes. If not, then no. Right? So, we'll see. We'll see.